in this session i will talk about q learning which is a model free reinforcement learning technique by model free reinforcement learning i mean we do not know the model of the environment that is we do not know the transition probability function and reward function in advance rather our agent comes to know about the rewards and resulting states only after taking a particular action in a particular state and q learning algorithm is an improvement over monte carlo method the monte carlo method is conceptually very easy but computationally it is very resource intensive and that's why we have this q learning algorithm and q learning is based on temporal difference learning and i will explain this when we will discuss the q learning update equation and we call this q learning method q learning because our agent learns the q values for all the state action pairs that is it learns a q table consisting of q values for all the state action pairs and using the learnt q table it determines the optimal policy so exactly how q learning improves the monte carlo method in monte carlo method the entire episode is used to update q value for only one state action pair and that is the state in which the episode starts and the first action that our agent takes whereas in q learning we update q value for state action pair corresponding to current state of the agent and the current action that agent takes after taking that action so unlike monte carlo method in q learning we do not have to wait for entire episode to be over to update q value rather in q learning as the q learning agent interacts with the environment it updates the q value for current state action pair after taking the action and the learned action value function q of sa directly approximates optimal action value function q star of sa as long as all the state action pairs are visited and updated during learning and this we can ensure by selecting an appropriate behavior policy so now let us move to the q learning algorithm the first step of q learning algorithm is to initialize the q table randomly that is we assign random q values to all the state action pairs once we have initialized our q table we start playing the game and we play the game repeatedly until our q values converge to optimal q values for all the state action pairs so we start the game and observe the initial state s once our agent is in state s it knows all the actions available in that state s but he does not know the rewards and resulting state associated with each of those actions it will know that only after taking a particular action so the agent chooses an action a based on its behavior policy and the behavior policy for q learning is normally epsilon greedy policy because it balances between exploration and exploitation so after taking action a the agent observes the immediate reward r and it transitions to next state s dash now with knowledge of this immediate reward r and the next state s dash it updates its estimate for q value for state s and action a using this update equation for q learning now this is very important equation so let's look at this equation in more detail so this q value on the left hand side of equation is updated q value for state action pair s a after taking action a and this q value is current q value for state action pair s a before taking action a this is also current q value and this is the target q value 
for state action pair S A after taking action A. Now let's understand exactly what is this target Q value. So when our agent is in state S, it has some estimate for current Q value. Now the agent takes action A according to its behavior policy and after taking this action A, it receives immediate reward R and it transitions to new state S dash. Now once in that state S dash, it knows all the actions that are available in that state and it also knows the Q values corresponding to all the state action pair for state S dash and that it knows from current Q values from Q table. Now here important point to note is that our agent does not take any of these actions. The agent only considers these actions for learning updated Q value and that consideration is done according to what we call target policy. So the target Q value for state S and action A is obtained using Bellman equation where this R is immediate reward received for action A in state S and this Q value is the Q value for state S dash and action A dash considered by our agent using target policy for the sake of learning updated Q value and for Q learning the target policy is always the greedy policy so we take the maximum Q value that is available in our state S dash that is maximum of these Q values and here note that for Q learning the target policy is always the greedy policy whereas the behavior policy can be any policy so in general the behavior policy is different from target policy for Q learning and therefore Q learning is considered an off policy learning algorithm. So in most of the model based reinforcement learning this target value is taken as updated Q value but in temporal difference we do not take this as updated Q value rather we use the difference of target Q value and current Q value that is difference of estimates of Q value after taking action A and before taking action A for updating our Q value and that's why this method is called temporal difference that is we are learning on the basis of the difference between target Q value and current Q value and here this factor alpha is our learning rate which determines how quickly we learn from this difference. So our alpha is a real number between 0 and 1 and when alpha is close to 0 then whatever this difference this term will be very small so our Q will change very slowly so our learning will be very slow and when this alpha is close to 1 then this term will be relatively larger so change in Q will be relatively larger so learning will be faster so we update our Q value for state S and action A using this update equation and we assign the resulting state S dash to S and we continue the game until we reach the terminal state and once we reach the terminal state we start a new game and repeat the same process until our Q value converges to optimal Q value and once that convergence happens we can find our optimal policy that is the best action for a given state S using argmax with respect to A of optimal Q value.